Okay, everyone. So uh, here I am. We're going to go over how to use the Delta Math uh, website today because um, instead of explaining to this to you in class where the where the sound and the video quality might be uh, not very good. Uh, nothing you can, uh, nothing can, there's nothing that can't be solved with a little YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. All right. Now, when you, when you see this, okay. So you go to deltamath.com, right? Deltamath.com. Okay. Uh, afterwards, um, you can go to create account. So let me move here. And then what you do is you, you enter in as a student. Okay. And here you will be asked to provide a teacher code. Okay. I think it's a six digit number. I forgot what it was already. So I'm going to post this into the, uh, actually, I'm not going to post it. I'm going to, I'm going to email you all with the student or the teacher code. Okay. And once you enter in the teacher code immediately, the, 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 the fields will be populated. And the first question they're going to ask you is what homeroom you're in. So make sure you pick the right homeroom because if you're in the wrong homeroom, then when I check homework, I might accidentally give you a zero because you're never there, right? So yeah, so make sure you pick the right class first and then it'll ask you for your, um, what is it? Oh, it'll ask you to register online with them. So use your, for your username, you know, email, use your school email, the k051.org. Okay. Do that. And then pick out a password, try to find a password that you can remember and then write it down. Okay. Because I don't have access, like I'm not an administrator. So if you tell me that you forgot your password, I can tell you, cause I, I can't see your password, right. For good reason. So, what other things do I have to tell you? Oh, so once you log in, right? Here's what you're going to see. So let me let me go over here and uh, join the, the folks in the pictures. Oh, there's the bell again. So I'm gonna sign in and I want you to see what I see and then I'm gonna pause the video and I want you to see, no, I want you to see what you'll see and then afterwards I'm, I want you to see what I'll see when on my end. All right, just to prevent you from uh, from copying homework and things like that. Okay, all right, so let's see. Okay, so here is our, uh, here is, I created a account, okay, using my, uh, my 51 account so that I could show you what this student would be, okay? So what's the password, I think, was this? All right, here I am. Okay, so now I already started a video lesson. Okay, so what I did was this, all right? Because one of the things I'm a, I'm a little concerned about is when you go in and you look at your assignments for the day for every classroom, there's a bunch of links, okay? And I don't, I don't wanna go back to that. So the video lesson is the video lesson of the day, all right? So you can come in here, all right? And then you'll watch the video, okay? Isn't this cool? It's like a video within the video, all right? Now you guys have to see this because, so because this is, this is a video I m make for all of my students in the past, but now that I'm using Delta math, this thing is history. This thing is a completely a thing of the past. So if you've never had me before, take a look at this. All right. It took me like an hour to make uh, many years ago. So this is the original intro and you'll never hear this music again. So watch this, just this. And this is the old ending, by the way. Is it even there? Yeah, okay, all right. This is the old ending, okay? All right. So this is a very, uh, it's a, we're going back in time. OMG, that was so good. Oh, man. Still makes me, still makes me smile to this day. Now, here, on a more serious note, you can't skip the ahead in the video because it keeps track. You see this like big red line in the middle? That's the part I skipped. So on my end, when I check your homework, 
it will say you watched 30 percent of the video so i know you didn't watch the whole video now to to make things work i'll try to hold up my end of the bargain and not make the videos any longer than 15 minutes now unfortunately your homework number one is 25 minutes okay the video so so i'm you know sometimes i just get carried away with talking okay so but i know that it's hard to like stay concentrated for 25 minutes i understand that i i can't i i can't do it so so do that okay and then afterwards you're gonna have questions right so i pick something that you guys probably have done in uh this the the what the seventh grade all right so here you substitute right you put in an answer now please don't really try not to click on this button here give up okay it'll you know it'll really disappoint me okay all right um you can show example right it can show you an example of something similar and then you can go back to the original problem and then you can try to solve it now i think with these i think you get two chances to answer them so if you get it wrong the first time you can try again and getting it right now some questions are amazing so this is why i think this website it's it's incredible i can't believe like how good how good this is all right so this one asks you to drag the terms right combining like terms right so you can move this here right oh maybe not what can i do i can put these in the front right yeah perhaps see it's like it they're, they're very like you see the screen here right they can they can always guide you into getting to the right answer so i think this website is fantastic all right um some of the questions some of the questions have videos to them now i don't know why i don't see that oh there we go so you have a video here right now i i can't i'm not gonna click it and show it to you because it's somebody else's work but if you click that it will give you a question that's similar to the one you're doing and then you can solve it okay so like this is amazing this is why i would never have to make another homework video again there's no need to like there's a video to help you and you know steps right examples right to do that and if you get it wrong or even if you get it right it will show you the steps to the question so let me see if i can find uh let me see if i can find something for you now let's see again right you can watch the uh help video uh i have to rewrite in simplest terms so let me see this is 36 r plus 48 i'm just writing this so i can see this myself so that's 34R plus 48. Okay, all right. Submit answer. Right, and then it'll, it'll ask you if you really want to submit the answer. Doesn't mean you're wrong. Okay, it's not a it's not like a psychological trick they're playing on you. Like they just want to make sure you're 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 writing what you meant to write. Okay. I hope I'm right. Okay, good. Because if I get it wrong, that'll be so embarrassing. Now, here they show you all the steps. Like, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Like, I, like, it takes all the work from me from, from having to uh, make a, what? Make a uh, homework video. So, and then when you're done, it'll tell you the percent. Don't sweat the percents too much. Okay, the grade. Like, if you did it, and I'm looking and you watch the videos, you get full credit. Like I'm not, I'm not in the business of giving people like, you know, less than full credit if you really tried. Okay, so, and I can tell if you're trying. I mean, right, like, I mean, look at the videos, right? Oh, so let me, let me press pause and then show you what I see, okay? When, uh, when I log in. Okay, so let me press pause right now. So here I'm gonna log on. Okay, so I finally got in. Um, here's what I see. Now I can see this. I can look at student data. If I can see this, I can view the assignments. And then, you know, so this is my, this is me, all right, as a student. And then I could click on the name and I could like, so by the way, please don't do this first as bogus assignment, okay? I, I'm just doing that just to do this, okay? So I could do the video. This is your real homework that I'm going to assign on Tuesday. 
Now, I made the I made the late date because the thing is I have to set a date on this in order to to see who's submitting this late. Now, in class itself, I let students hand in their even their late homework uh, all the way until the end of the respective marking period. Okay, so I'm gonna set that date. Okay, over here because otherwise you can't even get credit for it if I if I set a date, you know, like two days later, I can't change that. So yeah, try to do this on time. All right, it's very important for you to do that. And then um, what else can I see? I can also see when was the last time. Oh, I can also see what questions you struggle with. Okay, right. right. So these are all the questions. Okay, and then I could also see what was the last thing you did on the website? Because sometimes people will say stuff like, well, Mr. Ring, I tried doing the homework, but like, you know, like, I logged in, but something didn't, something didn't work. Um, and I can see when was the last time you logged on. Okay. So, and actually like logged in. Okay. So I can tell. All right. Uh, the other thing, all right. It blew my mind is I can tell if you are having another classmate. Hold on. I just want to double check. Oh, right here. I can see if you gave your uh, username and password to another classmate and let them do the homework. Because here, if that happens, it will show me matching IP addresses. Okay, now, I mean, this is like, when I saw that, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so don't, don't even try to do that. Okay, do your own homework. Okay, um, I think that's it. So I think on the on, from a day to day basis, when we're in Google Meet, what you will see is I'm just going to say, you know, you're doing homework number 25 tonight, go to your Delta math, and all the stuff that you all the things that you're responsible for that day should be there. Okay, so that's it. Let me stop this here. I hope this is not too long. Okay, and uh, yeah. All right, so if there are any questions, email me and I can answer those for you, okay? Or you can ask me that in class uh, on Monday or Tuesday, okay? All right, thanks for watching. OMG, that was so good.